But if we're going to be super serious as a hobbyist of growing figs, we need to really pay attention to the traits of these varieties. Because a lot of us out there, maybe a lot of you guys watching are are trying to figure out really what is the best variety of fig for your particular climate. And that's a really challenging, uh, you know, topic to tackle. It really is. I mean, there's a lot of variables. Figs change so much from year to year. You really have to wait a number of years for the trees to even mature. Uh, one year the tree could be doing something and the next year it could be doing something totally opposite. So it's quite difficult and I, um, I think to really make this easier and to make this whole process more accurate, I truly believe that all the varieties that you grow should be grafted onto the same rootstock, onto let's say brown turkey, right, is another, is a great example of a rootstock that is very vigorous, probably would give you a lot more production on your trees. And therefore, I think if you had that standardized across all of the varieties, it would make differentiating between certain characteristics a lot easier and a lot more accurate. I think there's also some great benefits in terms of rootstock for different resistances to things. Uh, certainly LSU Purple is one that has been noted by LSU uh, in their breeding program to actually have really good resistances to root knot nematodes. Um, there's also some varieties that really resist a lot of the fig mosaic virus that's present in a lot of these different varieties. So some varieties, let's say, should absolutely be grafted. Maybe you can make an argument that some other varieties don't necessarily need it, but certain varieties like Aishia Black from UC Davis, Ative de Argentile, even some of the like the Grise de Saint Jean varieties, maybe even Pastelier, some of the more dwarf, more difficult to establish varieties would greatly benefit by being grafted. So I would certainly argue, um, you know, for at least, at the very least, if you're still on the fence of this, is at least graft, you know, those certain uh, varieties I've mentioned. Now, some of the varieties that are very vigorous, you could think of are raspberry latte, brown turkey, um, any of the Palmata hybrids with Ficus carica, Black Beauty 10, usually Black Mission's pretty uh, vigorous. Um, man, there's actually quite a few, and I think maybe down in my description of this video, I have a spreadsheet, and I should have a list there of very vigorous varieties that I grow. Um, certainly Black Beauty 10, Smith is a good one. Texas BA1 is another good one. Long De Dute's a good one. Uh, in terms of the dwarf varieties, some of the ones I've only really found are Little Ruby. And also there might be a strain, a select uh, source, I should say, of Pastelier that is actually dwarf as well. 